Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick tutorial for the newly and fresh Create Studio 3.0. So what I noticed different from the previous Create Studio is the shapes. I thought I might share this with you, so really quick tutorial for today. Uh, right here we have shapes. Well, actually these shapes are the former icons from the top bar in Create Studio Pro. I'll show you. So if I get this square here, notice that you don't have those corner handles to round the corners of the shape. This is actually an icon, so that's why we don't have that. But if we go here to this plus sign and we choose for a square, notice that now we have this round corner possibility. So here you can uh, access text, the pen tool, rectangle, circle, triangle, square and the arc shape. I'm pretty sure you already noticed, but what I'm trying to show you in this quick tutorial is about this this category here with the shapes actually is the icons. So this square here is not the same with this one. And another cool thing that we might want to do, let's let's see here. I have this dog GIF. If I bring it here, notice that we also lack of these handles here, so we don't have this handles to round our gif. Maybe I don't like this sharp corners. So what can we do? We hit command G and we group this image and then we go here to mask and we choose to mask this. Notice that we have this possibility to round our video or gif or whatever we want to have in our video. So this is something it might interest. Okay and um, to show you you create studio pro see these icons the square is right here I already added to my canvas and I don't have the handles but even this one if you want either here in create studio pro or in the new create studio 3.0 uh, you can go here to this square bring it to your canvas even this one, I, I mean shapes or videos or whatever element. Let me just place here my playhead. So if I go and uh, group and then I just mask, you have this option to change the corners of this shape which previously without being a group we were not able to do. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. As I said, this was a very quick tutorial, so we'll discover together new things in Create Studio 3.0, so keep close and have fun creating.